Illinois politics, veteran Chicago Congressman Luis Gutierrez could be stepping down. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live outside the congressman's office where others are left in a rush now to get on the ballot. Mike. Indeed, Congressman Gutierrez has kept an office here in Logan Square for the past couple of decades. Now CBS2 has confirmed that the 63-year-old has decided that he will announce his retirement later on today. Gutierrez has represented the 40-square-mile 4th District here on the city's northwest side since 1993. He's known as a national leader on immigration issues and is also a champion of his ancestral homeland of Puerto Rico, where he traveled recently in the wake of Hurricane Maria. He's considered to be a fierce critic of President Trump and was among a small group of congressmen who recently filed articles of impeachment against the president. Gutierrez taught in Puerto Rico before becoming an alderman, where he was allied with the late Mayor Harold Washington during the Council Wars period. He's expected to officially announce his retirement today during an afternoon luncheon, and his departure may quiet a voice heard regularly in Chicago since the late 70s. These are big shoes to fill. Also, he's been an important voice uh, for Spanish-speaking Americans in particular. Um, he, he does the, the national circuit quite a bit, and, and uh, I mean, he's been around a long time and has been very vocal. Now, County Commissioner Jesus Chuy Garcia is expected to be at that luncheon today where he is expected to be endorsed by Gutierrez as his successor. And Alderman Carlos Maria Ramirez Rosa, who is a staffer, a former staffer of Congressman Gutierrez, also has said he plans to run calling this open seat a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Now, they have to scramble because they have to have thousands of signatures, and they basically have about a week to gather those signatures and submit them. Reporting live in Logan Square, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you, Suzanne, Aaron. All right, thanks, Mike.